uh, today we will demonstrate the intubation of the lacrimal canal of a three years old child. Uh, we will use uh, the NITS dilator to dilate his pupils, his, sorry, his uh, punctae. Now we're going to do probing of both caniloculi. We get a hard stop, and then we go down the lacrimal canal. We feel the obstruction, and then we perforate the obstruction. We have to be careful because secretions coming out from the lacrimal sac can hinder the visualization of the punctum. So you have to put the pumpkin in, in a good position so you can see it all the time. Hard stop, down the canal. This is the instrument that we will use to uh, retrieve our uh, wire from the nose to uh, uh, guide our uh, silicon tube inside. This is our silicon tube and this is the uh, guiding wire. The silicon tube is used exactly like the probe. We will start by the lower punctum first. Now, going to the nose, you want to go to the inferior turbinate. So that means that you have to go lateral, because the turbinates are on the lateral side, and lower, downward. So what we do is you go, you don't go like this. Everybody thinks that they, they should go like this and look for the wire. You are supposed to look for the wire downwards and lateral, and here we are clicking against each other. So, what you expect is, you feel your wire, whatever, and then you get it impacted here. And then you pull up, you pull up, this is, this is how you feel your wire, here or there, and then you get it impacted here. And then you pull up, and it stops here when you're pushing against each other. And then you manage to make it slide up, slide up. What's, once it slides up, this does not, this does not move anymore. So. If they meet like this, you go up until they come here, and then you push it a little bit up, a little bit up to manage to, the, to bend the wire up, and then you turn it up again. So this is what we're going to do now. We go down, and we meet each other. Here we are. I am sliding against the wire right now, and here I am just clicking against the tip end of the wire, and my instrument, now the wire is bent, I go down again and I'm taking my wire up, all the way up, and here's my wire. Minimal trauma to the uh, nasal conjunctiva, minimal trauma to the um, mucosa, of, uh, sorry, the nasal mucosa, and then you put some ointment on the junction between the silicon uh, tube and the guiding wire, and you pull it out, and here you go. This is so. Now we're going to try with the, one of our colleagues to try his first intubation, and he will do the upper part of this try. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
So you go the first two millimeters vertical. And then you pull the whole lid lateral, and then you go medial, and then you let go your hand, let go your, yes. Then you guide down, let the wire take its course without leading it. Don't lead the wire, let it go by itself. Now we're in the nose. And this is our instrument again, and we will do exactly the same thing. You will go lateral and downwards. Go down, go in. You need to go. Okay, again, this is how you do it. You go into the nose and it's down and lateral. This is, you're going backwards and lateral. This is not down and lateral. This is backwards and lateral. This is down, down, down towards the palate. Down and lateral. Not in. Backwards and lateral. It's down and lateral. Can you feel the wire? So you yes. track the wire backwards until we track it. And then you push it. And then they impact it against each other. So you slide this up while they're both impacted against each other. Yes. Yes. They are against each other, aren't they? Oh. Keep pressing, keep pressing, hard press, and then retract this up until you get the end of it. And then, yes, now pull up. And once, once it, now, come on, once it's bent, you take it up. This is what you say. It's bent. This is the trick. It's very important. Let me do it. Let me do it. It's very important not to retract this instrument all the way out. So this mistake should not be done. Again, two millimeters vertical, one lateral, and then you go pull lateral, and then you go the rest. Hard stop. No guidance. And then, as you can see, downwards and lateral. They're against each other now. I pull up until the wire is bent and then I go down again and make sure that I don't slip the wire. Here is your wire. You put some ointment on the tube and then you pull it out. And here you go. This child is intubated. Minimal nasal mucosa injury. Minimal bleeding. Small amount of blood is extremely acceptable, no problem. And now, you make a square knot. You make sure that the knot is all the way down in the nose. Oh, this one is a little bit out. we do another one. You make sure that your knot is uh, all the way down into the nose. And you can do that by pulling on your tube. Yeah. All right. Guide it all the way backwards. And here you go. Now you want to make sure that you have intubated the same canal, you didn't make any false passages, you pull it out and now you have the knot in the sack. You have your knot in the sack and this is out. So you pull it back again and it comes out again. And for extraction it's very easy, you pull it out again and you pull one side and the knot comes out here and that's fine. This is the easiest way to take it out, you don't need a general anesthesia, you don't need nothing. and. This is our tube. We cut this. You have to tell the parents that uh, they might see a silicone tube come protruding out from the patient's nose. 
uh, tell, ensure them that this is fine, no, nothing will happen. Uh, it's nothing to worry about. Some uh, spotting of the drops of blood is absolutely an, uh, acceptable, no problem. And we're done. This patient is uh, fully intubated. Thank you.